this? Well, there's a number of reasons. We believe we're an iconic South Australian brand. They are actually an iconic Australian brand. Just here in South Australia alone, they have 25 flights a day. They are very regional based. They have many, many hangars of which our stores are in. And for us, as a business that's growing from 62% regional over the next three years to 70 plus percent, it makes logical for us to be associated with the Royal Flying Doctor Service. They do some amazing work. For us, there are a number of opportunities. Firstly, one, in-store. We're looking at a number of products and in-store promotional activities for the brands. Number two, workplace giving, even if it's only 50 cents a dollar a week as part of actually our program with the Royal Flying Doctor Service. Number three we're looking at is events. So we're looking at a range of events, whether it be the Colour Run, City to Bay, the Melbourne Fun Run, whatever it is that you want to participate. And then next year, for the 90th year, we're going to have a very big announcement, which some people are already aware of, around an event that will be for the cheapest chips and the Royal Flying Doctor Service to actually celebrate the 90 years. So it's very exciting, but like anything, it's only going to be as good as you guys want it to be and how much you get behind it. From our point of view, from a board and also from senior management, we're very excited and we're looking forward to everyone coming on board and getting involved. Thanks guys. It is important that people know where the dollar's going. And the first and foremost is that uh, we strategically focus on not just the maximum dollars of raising, but also a cost of revenue where uh, we restrict our cost of revenue ratio 15 cents in the dollar. That's as high as we want the cost to be, which means 85 cents in every dollar at a minimum hits the bottom line. That's the first thing. The second thing is that ostensibly our fundraising is for our capital program of renewing the aviation as the platform of transport, infrastructure to ensure that we've got the appropriate facilities for our patient flow and our staff safety and comfort. And of course then for operational purposes if we wish to supplement a program or indeed run a program where we identify there is a gap in those services to communities. Uh, and an example of community uh, dollars is the Adelaide base uh, was established without any government funding. It is purely funded by the community. So quality people with the right technical skills providing the right services at the right time to people in need is a mantra and if we don't believe that the greatest name in our word in our title is service then we've missed the mark. Just basically because it is a service that is needed you know it covers such a broad area without that extra bit of money that's coming through you know they're not going to be able to you know live have their families live out there or be able to live on the land like they'd like to and knowing they've got that support for us not too far away if something does go wrong and the majority of the time under an hour we could be there to help them you know there's been a few things that have come back to me you know via email or you know even phone calls you know to say uh, how good a job it was you know what a great job not just what I do but just the whole RFPS as a whole as a group you know just you know what we do in saving I guess it could be anyone's life yeah that life is extended or life is provided and life is enhanced by virtue of a relationship with us is a very special moment. Uh, but I know that from my experience with the RFDS that every day uh, somebody amongst us somewhere at some time will make a difference to someone and that's a powerful reason to put your feet on the ground and get out of bed and that's what we are. Making a difference of meeting the needs and expectations where no one else goes to ensure that there is a quality of health service provision to all who work, travel or play in the harsh parts of our land.